was a great morning fudge. It was. Let's see what we've got today. Well, we've got, do you want to talk about that one, Woody? Yep. Well, we've got this. It's pool wash. So you can dry it out by a fire or in the glass house or just in the sun. And then put it and then get and then get this off. And then you and then you put it if when you start in fire, you might you might put it in the fire and then and then it will light it much easily. What have we got here? We've got what are these? These are hawthorn berries. Yeah. So you can dry them out and put them in the tea and then they were awesome in winter. They keep your colds away. They can be um they 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 yummy in tea. They're good really good heart medicine and yeah they're just great. Good for particularly those with high blood pressure. Yeah. We've got two types of berries here. So these are elderberries and these are um, rose hips. Uh, the elderberries, or mum makes a, um, a mead or elderberry syrup. Yeah, syrup. Yeah. And and these, uh, like the wolfram berries, they grow in tea. You can just dry them out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Great yeah. tackle for the winter. Very high in vitamin C. Good for the immune system. And we've got. What are, what are these? These, these are psyllium puffs. This is plantain mm -hmm. and you can just pick the heads off uh, with these are the heads and then you dry them out and then we get heaps of all kinds of sunflowers, sunflower seeds, we get pepit, um, pumpkin seeds, we get, um, we get all kinds of things and put them in there and then it, and then it deduces not it, it's real good it's the juice is it absorbs it all in with the juice and then the juice it's much better for you to have this um to have this with juice and the juice is um mainly mean we make uh our juice from seconds fruit so fruit that's been uh bird fallen um basically wind fallen uh pears like this we just chop them in half, sometimes in quarters, and, and put, then, put them in our steam juicer. And then that makes a juice, but we never have juice by itself because you need fibre with juice, otherwise you're just having straight sugar, um, which is not good for your immune system. So um, we always have juice soaked with, uh, yeah, as we said, psyllium husks, uh, sunflower seeds, um, a whole lot of things, pe uh, pepitas, uh, um, chia seeds, etc., etc. The last of the season's blackberries. Um, and how how long do you think we were gone for? What are you about? We were gone for maybe four hours. Or? Yeah, three four hours. Three four hours. And this is my wild mint from the river bank. Yeah. So, and we got the great in the mint, mm. like to have mint tea. So, so good. Um, just nice to eat a bit. Mm. So we've got mint to dry, fruit to steam juice and to preserve. So we put those in. We could um, stew some, dry some. We've got elder berries there, not many, but we'll dry those with the rose hips. We've got. Um, hawthorn berries and blackberries, high antioxidant properties in all of these foods. Uh, the psyllium husk a great food for your gut. Um, it's a mucilaginous material. Plantain seeds are just wonderful for thickening soups, but lining the inside um, of your um, intestine and becoming. It's a becoming um, herb. And we need a bit of the calming at the moment. And then um, the last but not least, a couple of root vegetables. So these are good carbohydrates. This is dandelion. I only got one good dandelion root, but there's plenty in the garden. So I'm going to be making a um, 
dandelion root coffee with that. That's our local coffee, a walked for coffee. Uh, and of course the leaves are fantastic in a salad. So we'll have those tonight. And what are these, Woody? Do you want to talk about the... Well, these, these are thistle roots. So they're yummy to eat. You can um, cook them up and have them for dinner. Um, like, they, they, it's almost like a potato, like roast. You can just chop them up, mm. put them in the roast. Or well, you can eat them raw yeah, too. Yeah, they're so good. They're yummy. They can do... So... It, it, it makes it easier if you... You just chop around all the, off, chop off all the spikes, and then get a digging tool. Oh, the spikes then, of the thistle. Yeah. yeah so yeah, they're the spear spikes. thistles or Scotch thistles. So look that up, so what you, they look like. But they're very prickly. Yeah. Dig them out. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You chop all the spikes off, and then dig it out, and um, and then wash it in the. We they were connect by a creek, so um, mm. just wash them in the creek. I think one of the. I mean, apart from coming home with all this um, walked for food and the the ob obvious medicinal properties in all of like this kind of food that doesn't come from an industrial um, supply chain um, it's everywhere these are all feral plants so these are all our aboriginal foods our so as uh, relearning to be custodial species um, has been a big part of that for us as non-indigenous Australians is to basically, um, it's been over 10 years of learning to put back um, the pieces so that we know what our custodial um, uh, foods are. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna, um, yeah, we're just gonna weigh it. So load up the pears as much as you can. <laughs> in a minute. Um, so I've added this up to be 3.325 uh, kilos of food. A lot of modern food is, is so domesticated that it's lost its rigor. It's lost its um, tenacity. And so we always like to say in our household, if we eat, uh, feral foods it gives us feral energy and as we know feral energy is pretty dynamic it's tenacious it's hardy it's resilient it also has a a benefit because you're not using industrial pesticides to manage uh, feral species um, or in this case weeds you're actually um, being biological controls yourself so that's um, a part of the health so while we see that bush food or bush tucker is very much um, uh, for indigenous Australians, this uh, feral or what I call white tucker, um, mainly because most of this stuff comes from my place of Aboriginal origins. Um, so this white tucker dreaming or belonging story is, is really our new song line on this country. When we walk for this food, we are um, developing our own uh, song lines akin to our ancestral medicines and foods.